What is up, guys? It's Kojo Forex, aka GBP Legend, aka Sniper Trader, aka King of Blues. I know it's been a while I shot a YouTube video. You guys know it. Sometimes you can get washed out in this YouTube thing, but sometimes I get the energy to shoot again. Very interesting content that is going to add value to your technical analysis and then your journey in trading. Today, I'm back again with another YouTube video, basically teaching you how to get started in technical analysis, right? So in the first video, I taught you how to get started in trading, where I taught my girlfriend in a manner that would have taught you how to trade, right? Today, we're going to talk about how to do technical analysis in a way that would have taught you how to write so in this example i'm using my very good friend rick fx rick has been my mentee from 2018 i've taught him a lot of stuff right and i keep teaching him a lot so today what we're going to be doing is basically teaching him the basis of technical analysis in a manner that would have taught you how to think about the market so yeah without wasting my time i'm going to invite rick over so rick come over let's let's get it started <laughs> So basically, like I told you guys, what we're going to be doing today is basically understanding the market from an expert perspective, basically delving into technical analysis and how experts or pro traders think about the market. So yeah, I'm going to be teaching Rick as if I'm teaching you a beginner. Rick, when you look at the market, right, what do you think about? What is basically what runs to your mind when you see the market? Random movement. So do you think that it's very easy for a beginner to predict the turning point of the market or movement to make like an accurate prediction and say, okay, this thing is going to go up let me buy this is going to come down let me sell no the movements are so random that you can't even really see where right you right so to begin with i'm going to give you the basic definition of what technical analysis is right okay so basically before you even think about the market or its random nature think about technical analysis of what as the study of trends and turning points in the market you understand what I mean? Yeah. Right. So you want to understand the market as, or you want to understand technical analysis, basically how to identify trends. Is the market going up? Is it coming down? And turning point, right? Which is basically the reversal, whether it's reversing from the bottom to the top or it's reversing from the top to the bottom. Once you're able to wrap your head around this, you have a little bit of an edge in the market already, okay. right? Now, there are so many concepts that have stayed around for a long time, but most people interpret it differently. So today we're going to look at it from a 3D perspective, what would change your mind and then your intuition when it comes to technical analysis, right? And then we're going to be using most of the very popular concepts that have been around for so many decades, but people still feel like there's extra things that they need to learn before they can become like, you know, that profitable trader. One of it is trend line. And then the other is support and resistance, right? Okay. Right. So we're going to begin with even support, right? Now, how would you understand support in the market? So, so from a layman's mm -hmm. point of view, mm -hmm. support means what? Base. Good. So in the market, how do you see support? Well, I'll see it as a previous level. Mm -hmm. The market has been... No, prior to knowing me, you're defining the tendency. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. This is going right. through. Okay. Right. Support. Mm -hmm. will be man i already know this here so i can't even <laughs> fake it i understand you no problem right prior to knowing me he would have defined support as where there's been continuous hold up in the market where the market just goes up you know let, let's try and illustrate that so you'd have seen support as you know come down we go up we come back to the same place we go up we come back to the same place we go up then you would have defined this range as support is it am i wrong or right you're right now after knowing me, I defined support to him as any turning point in the market. Yeah, that's from true. the base is support, and any turning point in the market from the top is resistance. resistance. So that's how we define our support and resistance. And then it is it makes sense to think about it from an economic point of view, not from technical analysis point of view alone. In the sense that how did we define price floors and price ceilings? We define price floor as any point in which the market feels to go any lower and then it reversed. And price ceiling is any point above which the market feels to go any higher and then it reversed. It's the same principle when you're thinking about support and resistance, right? Yeah. In the sense that support, you say price floor. So the market came down, it hit some point for some reason, which we can never know, then it started going up. For that very reason alone, this base down here becomes what? support for that very reason alone this base down here becomes a support and then any price point above which the market failed to go any higher so for this very reason alone this point right here becomes what a resistance 
Am I wrong or right? You're right, bro. So this place is what? Support. Support. And then this place is called what? Resistance. Resistance. Is it? Yeah. Now, the moment you're able to wrap your head around this, then you're a step ahead in the market, technical analysis-wise. Right? Now, let's look at an example from just support and resistance in this week's trading, right? So, we're going to use an example from the support point of view on GBP, JPY. Another classical definition of technical analysis, right, like I said, is using historical price movement to anticipate or predict future price movement, right? Yeah. So, if we're using historical price movement from support and resistance, right, then we can see that what? In the history of GBP, JPY, which is pound versus Japanese yen, this area right here served as a support, right? Yeah which was around 20th of August. So technical analysis wise, we know that if this market comes back to this area right here, if we trace it horizontally, it can also perhaps serve as what? A support again. Do you agree with me? I agree. Now, what can we see here? This market served as a support here. It hit this market, went all the way up, did its own thing, came back right there. What did it serve as again? Support. And then it went up now the moment you are able to identify this then you should be able to speculate when this market hit this zone that it can potentially go up again and then you want to speculate there for your buy setups okay now the problem here is that it is not guaranteed that it can go up again but it may go up that's why traders got to follow proper risk management and that is what speculation is about that's why we always advise that do not risk more than what two percent between one, one and two percent per single position yeah. so if you have a hundred percent which is like your total account size we're expecting that you do not expose more than two percent in speculating that pound versus japanese yen is going to go up when it hits this support again it's as simple as that so that's the concept for support right i think yeah. that is well explained that's clear now let's look at the resistance perspective we're going to use the same pound japanese yen but from a, another historical point of view now i've explained the way you think about resistance right which is what any price point above with the market failed to go any higher now we can see that what during this point in the market the market failed to do what go any higher here so it's already created that point of what resistance, resistance. now if you trace this horizontally again what can you see that after a couple of weeks when this market came back here it failed to trade higher so again you want to speculate at that region that it can potentially come back down when it hits those region and then what can we see specifically that the market came back down yeah. so if your speculation was right from technical point of view well you have made money or not you made money exactly it doesn't mean that the next day you're going to make money as well though that's why risk management is very important so that's also the first point so we've talked about support we've talked about what resistance. resistance now we're going to go on to the next topic which is what trend line so let's start from the basic definition of a line what will you think of as a line a line is something that connects from point a to point b great as simple as that you don't even need to complicate it Connecting of two points creates a line, right? So once we can connect point A, point B, then we have what? A line, right? Mm -hmm. Now, can you consider just point A, point B as a trend line? No. Why? <laughs> I go bring this in. <laughs> <laughs> laugh while you go laugh. Ah! A, a, a trend is formed mm -hmm. if it misses the point repeatedly. Great, 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 great. So you'll be shackled. Oh. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So if we have point A, right? <laughs> oh. If we have point A here, right? Yeah. And then we have point B also here. We'll only say this line is potentially a trend. If we have point C concurrently in that same line, is it? Mm -hmm. 
and then we can connect point a b and c then we say no now this line is no more just a line but is what a trend line potentially we can have point d also continuing on the upside like that right potentially we can have point d do you agree with me or not i do yeah right so we say what is a trend line and then it's part of what the tools that traders have for speculation basis right in the sense that we see the market let's say it, it starts this trend from the inception it moves on the upside it comes back down it hits point b it goes on the upside we can speculate that what it can come back to point c and then go back up again and then come back to point d and then go back up again right because yeah. it's creating a trend in the, in the market where we can use trend lines as a good basis to find entry for the market on the upside now with that established means that anytime we have point a and b then we can also anticipate that we can have what point c which can be what the point of interest for us to find a trade setup in the market do you agree with me or not i do great now let's look at that also another example from this perspective we're going to use swiss franc japanese right now if you look at swiss franc japanese right we're just going to use swiss franc japanese if you look at swiss franc japanese for this week right now i'm going to use a back testing tool so that we can be able to have a good perspective right let's look at this even from the one hour perspective right now if we're using a back testing tool remember that i said what we have point created when we are when we can connect two you know wicks in the market right so if you're looking at this what we have here point one here as an inception and then point two running through the wicks do you agree with me or not mm -hmm. so we have what a line now right it is not a trend here is it a trend no it is what now a line great now for speculation basis what are we waiting for the third touch great it should come hit this point and then go up right yeah now let's look at what happens in this market do you have the third touch or not we do so what do we want to do as traders speculate great and now how much do we want to risk in the market maximum two percent great and then we're anticipating that you go out to possible another height is yeah. it yeah great now with this perspective in mind we are using trend line as a basis of what speculator anticipating next move in the market right just using the point one point two point three rule and then if we have our setup looking like this and then we put on our lot size then we anticipate that it should go in our favor is it yeah let's see what happens with this market boom boom boom, boom. literally just keeps climbing up so this is just part one of technical analysis where we just use support resistance and trend lines right yeah i'm going to be teaching you more about fibonacci i'm going to also be teaching you more about psychological levels i'm going to be teaching you more about you know very deeper concepts that also you know correlation cross-referencing and then candlestick patterns all of this right in the next couple of series that will make you understand exactly how pro traders keep making money on the market from this simple analysis basis right if you love this video and then you want to keep watching the next couple of series that i'll be doing refer to the end you know what to do smash the like button and subscribe to this channel make sure you do that also click in the link in the description to join the coach of our telegram community next week i'm going to be dropping tons and tons of trade from this kind of analysis out here and also follow me on all social media at kogofrex follow fred also at rick underscore underscore fx so that anytime we have a video and then he's with me you can also follow the update so without wasting much time i hope you guys enjoyed this short youtube but insane very deep content right and then, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, Peace out. out. Peace <laughs> out. In the sense that, how did we define price flaws? And in the sense that, how did we... <laughs> one, two, three. Fuck. <laughs> Why do you love them? Why do you love them? Why do you love them? We'll go on. Hey, uh -huh. let's go.